Thousands of visitors flock to our beaches for Labor Day weekend, and those holiday festivities have health care workers bracing for a possible COVID-19 spike. NBC 15's Corey Pippen spoke to Baldwin County doctors concerned about the impact it could have on local hospitals. Corey. Well, Kim, Greg, local health officials are planning and preparing just in case they see the same type of COVID-19 spike they saw after the 4th of July, which impacted equipment and staffing. From the sugar white sands to condos and businesses, beach going visitors didn't shy away from Baldwin County's coast this Labor Day holiday. And even with masks and social distancing orders, health officials worry all the work to reduce coronavirus case numbers could easily be undone. If we figure we're going to spread all the disease like we did July 4th over the Labor Day weekend, then if you contracted it, you're going to spread it for the next two weeks. Dr. Michael McBrearty, chief medical officer at Thomas Hospital, says the spike after July 4th put a strain on personal protective equipment and staffing, something I'm told many healthcare facilities are still recovering from. All the hospitals had many more admissions after July 4th. There is a small shortage of gloves. We just recently from the state got washable gowns because we we're running short on gowns. Labor Day occupancy never dipped below 87%, tourist officials say, and was higher than it was last year. McBrearty says another concern is if there is a spike, it could coincide with outbreaks in schools and last into flu season. Just as this perfect storm between the kids getting into school and the Labor Day weekend, we may see the same thing if we have a peak flu season. And so what we need to do is make sure that we do everything we can to protect people's lives. Health officials say for all those reasons, it's even more important this year to get the flu vaccine because even if it isn't 100 percent effective, it could help reduce the symptoms of influenza. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.